Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by The Power of Red Arc. Today we're here with the Opus OP4, up to 400 kilos lighter than its competitors, and not a single pole in sight, all for just $9. But is it enough to impress the judges? There's only one way to find out. All right, the Opus OP4, off-road, uh, back for another crack at Camper Trailer of the Year. You know, it's a, a twin fold, so it doesn't have a big footprint when it's behind the car, but when you set it up, gee, that's a big camper. Two beds, who do you think's gonna buy it? And do you think it suits them? It's actually rated quite highly for me on intended purpose. That I think it hits that adventurous family dead between the eyes. It's up to 400 kilos less than its competition. It's $5,000 cheaper. It's got so much space. It's so quick to set up. Look, it's rough around the edges, but it's also a quarter of the price of some of these campers. I think if you're a money conscious, young adventurous family, you wanna get out without the hassle, this is one you gotta be looking at. Yeah, and from an off-road point of view, um, that 400 kilos lighter made such a difference towing it. So we had it behind a Navara STX, which I found in previous testing not a great tow vehicle, but it just suited that thing so well. I think from an off-road point of view, it actually was pretty good. Um, now what about its innovation, Dan? I mean, there's a lot going on there. There's sort of two key, key parts with this, with the innovation. Obviously, there's the inflatable side of things, which to me, I thought it was a gimmick until I actually saw it in person. But the, the poles, for lack of a better term, are all rock hard. You can't pop them. It sets up really quick. It's an absolute game changer, especially with the awning. But the big thing for me mainly was the chassis. You know, you look under 99% of, of imported campers, they're all going to have the exact same frame. So this thing's got stringers. It's got a, a narrower draw bar to cut down weight. It's got a C frame underneath the box itself. And that's where you get that huge weight saving. It really shows that they've thought about this product and it's not just another off the shelf with a, an inflatable tent on it. And then what about self-sufficiency, um, Glenn? It's not the best uh, self-sufficient camper that we saw during the event, but you can add things to make it more self-sufficient. It did have good power, that was above the spec. The water tanks are a little bit small, but as I say, you can add stuff to make it better. You're not paying so much money, it's not gonna cost you as much. That is one of the things in that sort of price range too. It's a lot of DIY as well, so that money you're saving, you can afford to go and tinker with it yourself, so. So it's got a 500 kilo payload, or just about 500 kilo payload, and you're right, only 160 litres of water, but it does have those jerry can holders in the front you could throw some water into and plenty of gas. And 200 amp hours of lithium is pretty good. You'll have to supply your own solar. 160 litres isn't, you know, a long term amount of water. Sure, if you could have had a draw pump or something like that, it would improve it, but yeah, you'd, you'd certainly have to keep an eye on your water usage, especially if you added a shower. Um, what about the quality finishing, Glenn? Um, you know, like, uh, it is an imported camper, so how does it rate against the expectation? The canvas work was great quality, lightweight at uh, 340 gram microwave. The main body is a baked enamel finish. Underneath was fairly neat and tidy. The dinette and all the cabinetry was um, a little bit cheap and nasty, and being white, it did um, mark E very easily. Yeah. Speaking of inside, I've actually done a few big trips with uh, an OP4. I've got a pretty good idea of how they sleep. That 75mm high density foam mattress on both ends, the queen and the double. Um, good for one or three nights. Uh, five to six, you start to notice it, but you get used to it after sort of seven or eight nights. Um, I think throwing a topper on top, like a gel topper on those mattresses would make it absolutely perfect. Being able to get inside that thing on a, on a nasty day in that central lounge, it is a TARDIS. Like you could fit seven or eight people inside, just play a game of cards, just hide from the bad weather. And even in the worst of the wind that I've experienced them in, it's great. The tent just leans a little bit in the wind and just straightens back up as soon as the pressure's off. Ease of use has to be one of the Opus's strongest suits and I've rated it really high for that. I mean, the fact that you can pull up at camp, drop the legs down, and then just pull the latches, press a button, stand back and watch it inflate is pretty bloody awesome. And the fact there are zero poles or pegs, yeah, that's a game changer for me because there is nothing worse than you've lost a pole or you've grabbed the wrong pole or there are 30 poles and it takes 30 minutes. This thing does not take that, it's a five minute setup. And I think for me, that's part of the X Factor, Kath, um, is that ease of use and also that internal space. But what stood out to you there? It's gotta be with the Opus. It's that absolutely distinctive look of the Opus. And when you see an Opus in a campsite, you know it's there. Um, that inflatable tent, you know, as you said, no poles. It's not unique in the world, it's unique to camping. I mean, that sort of design has its origins in, in the military and it's been used for years and years. But I mean, we saw the Opus at the Camper Trail of the Year 2021 event. And uh, when that thing was unfurled, you know, it put a smile on everybody's face. It was the same this year. It would have to be 
one of the only campers around where if you were there with a family of four, you'd be fighting with your kids as to who was going to set it up. For me, that's, that's where the, the X factor comes in with the OP4. It's all impressed us clearly. And then it's only 36,799 as it sat. You know, that was with the lithium upgrade. Do you think that's good value? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's about the same price as its competitors. Um, it's about 450 kilos lighter. And, uh, and as we've said, there's no poles. That only, not only makes your camping experience better, I mean, it, it stops divorces. <laughs> it's, it's, um, so as you said, the model we reviewed, it had the optional extras, it had 1000 amp of lithium, it had 3000 watt inverter, it had that 96 liter uh, Mike Coolman fridge in it. And that is a great place for buyers to start who are interested in this sort of dual fold uh, lifestyle. Nothing more to say. So there we go, Opus OP4 at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Red Arc. And we've got 11 campers this year, so if you wanna watch more, follow through to our channel, and of course, subscribe and like if you enjoyed what you saw.